In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can start using Facebook ad for your business. If you're not using Facebook ad or if you don't know how to go about this, I promise you that by the end of this video, you are going to learn how to fully grow a Facebook page and fully run a full-fledged Facebook advertising to your business. So, Facebook ad is a very good, if you're not using Facebook ad in your business, after this video, you need to start using Facebook ad because this video will teach you in great detail how you can get the best for your business by promoting your business on Facebook. So, like you all know, Facebook, everybody is in Facebook and you need to reach out to them by running paid advertising to these businesses and to your customers on Facebook. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you thoroughly how to grow a Facebook page and how to run Facebook advertising to promote your business and to show you that this works. Just 20, less than 12 hours ago, I was able to grow a brand new Facebook page. I was able to grow a brand new Facebook page to 74 new likes in a matter of 12 hours and I got these likes literally for peanuts 0.02 dollar per like so this method work and this is a very good way to master Facebook so I'm going to show you in great detail how you can use Facebook for your business so Facebook is a very good platform to run your business because everybody is on Facebook think about it what business are you running what industry are you into what niche are you marketing to what product are you selling what service are you selling what consult what coaching are you rendering every damn thing you have to offer your customers are on Facebook waiting to see your ad, waiting to see your business, waiting to be introduced to your business. That is why you need to start using Facebook ad for your business starting today. So this video will help you. It's going to show you how to create a very optimized Facebook page for your business. And it's also going to show you how you can grow this page. Sending likes, growing because it is a new page. And to build out your pages, I'm going to show you in this video how to create, how to buy, how to grow likes on Facebook. Targeting your ideal customers. You're going to learn how to create this, how to get thousands of likes. On your Facebook for literally peanuts of dollars for low for the lowest cost for penny likes, penny likes per video, penny likes per post, penny likes promoting your product and service on Facebook. So this video will show you a lot of how to run a successful paid Facebook business, how to use Facebook successfully to grow. And promote your business so Facebook is a very good platform because all your customers are on Facebook and if you have been looking for ways to reach them before now is a very good time and this video will help you to show you how to reach out to these customers so if you are brand new to my channel and if you want me to produce videos like this on a regular basis if you love this kind of videos, please kindly subscribe to my channel so I can be able to produce more tutorials, more videos like this, showing you how to run your business 
and how to grow your business to make more customers and more money on both online and offline and also let me know in your in the comment below what kind of video you would like me publish on a regular basis so that i can publish videos that you will watch and you will enjoy so please make sure to subscribe to this channel so that i will be able to publish more videos like this to help you grow your business and let me know in the comment below what kind of video you would like me publish on this channel on a regular basis i will appreciate your input i will appreciate your input and i also appreciate you subscribing to this channel to allow this channel grow and to allow this channel be the best youtube channel in the industry so without further ado and without much wasting much of our time let's go down to the business of today so facebook advertising is the best way you can do advertising for your business and to show you a proof of this this is a travel blog a travel page i created few days ago on facebook i created a travel page and because this is a brand new page i have to do my settings and i have to i needed likes or to grow this page so i have to run facebook advertising to this page and as at this very moment of shooting out this video i've been able to grow this page to about 97 likes in just it says 96 new likes this week and this was achieved just this was achieved in less than 12 hours in less than 12 hours of running my facebook card of running advertising to this page i was able to generate about 12 about 97 likes and i got these total likes for less than two dollars for less than two dollars i was able to get about 97 likes and 96 follows to my brand new travel page and this is a local business I'm starting to grow to promote my local business to my audience in the industry. So this is a proof that this works and I'm, I'm in a very good position to teach you what you need to know to grow your business using Facebook. So to begin with, the first thing we need to do for our business is to create a Facebook page. That is obviously the very beginning of starting a successful Facebook advertising. So you want to run hard for your business. You want to run hard to promote your product and service. You want to run hard to promote what you have to offer. Your local business, your online business, your course, your even affiliate marketing business. Whatsoever it is you want to do, you want to be able to run hard. To promote this business so the first step is to create a Facebook page related to your business and to do that we are already on Facebook so you log in your Facebook account Wow can't you see just refreshing my button I was able at the, my like percentage my, uh, the total number of likes on my page has grown down to a hundred likes just in a matter of seconds so this shows you that you can do Facebook advertising and Facebook advertising is a very good way to promote your business if you know what you are doing and this video will show you exactly everything you need to know about Facebook. So let's head over to the video, to the training for today. Like I told you, the very first step to starting 
your business or the very first step to using Facebook advertising for your business is to have a Facebook page. So you come over to your Facebook account and you on the icon it shows on the top right. You currently when you click on the icon it gives you a drop down a list of what you want to do whether you want to create a facebook page or you want to create a facebook ad or you want to create a group or event for your business and for the sake of the tutorial we are heading over to facebook to the to page clicking on page to create a facebook page for our business so the next thing is it shows you two categories of page you want to create do you want to create a page for your business or brand is your is 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 your business a business or brand or a community or a public figure so if you are kind of a public figure you click on the community or public figure to create a page related to this or if you want to create a local business you want to go with the business or brand so let's assume you are a local business or you are a you want to build yourself to be a public figure in your industry you click on get started so when i clicked when i created my travel page i was i created it as a community to share with my industry to share it as a community with my people so you click on the community or public figure the community or public figure and if you are a business you go you click over on the business it gives you the ability to add your name your category and you move on or the public figure and or community section your name and your um category and you move on so i'm going to create a similar page to the world i just created my recent page is a travel blog which was a travel visa digest blog um, page i made to say so let's create a similar page i'll walk you through the process of creating a similar page let's assume you want to create a similar page to my travel page so we could name give your page a name travel and travel visa solution so let's assume this is a this is the name of our page the next is to choose the category so looking at travel and visa you know it falls under the the, the travel um an agency okay okay i noticed something when i was creating this page i noticed there was not a place a rightful category to choose so what i chose was i chose a local and travel business so later i was able to change it after i had created the page i was able to change it from the setting right here clicking on the setting and going down to page information good so uh, this is the category where my page belong passport and visa service plus travel agency but while creating this page there was no there was no industry or category for the passport or travel agents um i mean there was no space for the passport and visa service or the travel agency so i chose local and travel website click on continue after which i was able later i went down to the setting and changed it to travel agency and passport and visa service which was actually showing which was the right category for my business so once you've done that the next is you can upload a profile picture 
for your business. So, upload a profile picture showing your business. Then, two, you upload a cover picture. So you could get any of these uh, images. Okay. Okay, this is small. So, kind of following the step by step process. Travel, just that. Creating a page is as simple as A, B, C. As simple as it is, I literally created a page in your presence right now just by uploading my profile picture. Wow. I seem to love this profile picture. So I guess I'm gonna change my profile, my main profile picture to something like that. Okay, let me leave it for now. So just by showing, by putting, choosing your industry, giving it a name, changing your profile picture, and and adding a cover to your page, you were able we were able to create a page instantaneously. We we're able to create a page instantaneously. Okay. These images seems to be small, but we can do that later. And once your page is created, you want to go down to your, just play around with your page, going down to the setting. And these are possible settings you want to take a look at and change as change them as to describe your page first. The page visibility. Page visibility is published. Visitors post, anyone can post to your page. News feed and visitors for post. These are basically change things. You can go around and play around with your page with this. But one thing where I want to I want to take um one place I want to to put more emphasis on is the tagging ability. So this is a brand new page and you really want to promote it to anybody or to the right audience. You want to change this tagging. It, on the tagging ability, only people who help manage my page can tag photos posted on it. So you want to make changes to it and allow others to tag photos and videos published on your page. So what this means is that it allows anybody to tag their friends, to tag people, to tag, they could see an interested post on your page and they can tag anyone to the page. That is what it means. So you will want to play around with the settings on, the, on this side and move and check also the settings on the left hand side. So let's get over to the page info we showed you the other time. So you can see my category is showing local and business travel. So you can change it to reflect the true, to reflect what it actually is. Good. Agency. Now you can choose to be a travel agent or like my or as like my site. Like in my own page, I was um, I reflect a passport and visa service. So this 
are where you can make these changes. And once your page is created, you may want to you need to add the details of your page, which is the descriptions, your phone number, your website, email address, and other possible details. Your street address, if it's a local business, other details as much as possible to allow your customer reach out to you. And once that is done, you want to publish few posts. Few posts. About 10 to 20 or 5, 6, up to just you populate your page. For example, this page is just showing two or three posts, which is the profile picture we added and the cover photo we added. So you don't want this store to just come to this page and see it's a new page or see it a, an empty or scanty page. So you would want to publish, you may go to Google or Pixabay or other places and get some really, really or some good images that are related to your industry. And you can publish these images on your, on your, on your page. Another tool I use is a tool called Artsuit. So it can allow you to schedule your post to go out on your page, some at Intaba. So you can you may want to look out with the tool and how you can use it to share your page or to make your page or to make content regularly on your page. And also you may want to change the button or you have a button. A button is a call to action. So if it is a business selling something, you want to uh, if if you are if you want to if you're a consulting business, your call to action may be a book with a book now button, or a call, if you are if you're a service or you need people to your client to contact you, you can use the contact you page. The first is the booking page, which is the book now. Then the next is your contact page, which allow customers to contact you directly, or learning more about your business you use the shop now to show people your business your, what you have to offer them or to download apps and game you use the use app and play game for your page so these are things you can use as it relates to your business and once the page is created the next and the fun thing right now is to create hard that are targeted to your business so i'm going to use the book now or the contact us now so or the call now anyone that suits or, or reflect your business next good Then you link to your website. Let's say you link to your website where they can contact you. And finish. Your contact page is configured and they can now contact you on your page. That is it about the page. So the next thing now is after populating your page, your page. With few necessary posts, we need to start running ads to this page. So I'm going to show you in the next step. After we've created this post, this page, it is time to run this ad to grow this page. In matter of days or minutes or some hours, you can literally have hundreds and thousands of likes going straight to your page in a matter of minutes. So the next step now is to run ad and i'm going to show you detailed step by step how you can run how you can run very specific ad to your business so to do that when the page is created to do that we come back to the create and this time around we are going over to the create head you can also find this at your top right 
where you can click on manage ad manage ad will show you how to manage will give you the same thing as this create ad will give you so let's take a let's use the manage ad or the create ad now it is basically loading your ad manager good so loading up your ad manager this is your ad dashboard so I want to create the uh, first ad to promote this page and watch closely as I show you how to build target ad for your page so running ad to your page there are what is the first step is choosing your marketing objective choosing your marketing objective is to choose what you want to do which kind of ad you want to run what is the purpose of your ad or why are you running this ad we have the brand awareness ad the rich ad that is the awareness or coming down to consideration we have the traffic engagement app installed if you want to run ad allowing people others to install your app on their website that is when you use the app install or the video view ad lead generation ad or message ad where you want to run ad in for messages or in facebook messenger these are different ad options you can run we have then we have the conversion ad which is the conversion which is running ad regarding to conversion or sales or store traffic this is if you are running an e-commerce website but for the purpose of this tutorial and for our page which is a travel page or yours could be a local business yours could be a local store yours could be a a, a page showing your authority as a public figure yours could be a page for your community for your church for your for your organization for an ngo whatsoever the purpose of the page might be you can run different you can this you can run ads to grow this page and the first ad we need to run is what we call the engagement ad perfect so what we need right now is engagement because our page is a brand new page nobody knows of our existence nothing at all nobody knows we exist we are just a brand new business coming out of nowhere and we need to make lots of noise to make people know that we are actually in existence so we need an engagement hat and when you come down clicking on the engagement it gives us different options to run we have the post engagement the page engagement and the event response so this allows these are uh, three different engagements you can run for your business so like the description said get more people to see and engage with your post or page engagement can include anything like comment shares like event response and offer claim so these are different engagement ads you can run for your business so in this um tutorial in this example we are going to be using the page like engagement what we need is to get some likes to our page so that we can start promoting our page so that we can start reaching out to more people organically or paid or by paid advertising so we need to run a page like ad to your business so the very first step to doing this is to give your page a name your campaign a name so we could use travel visa solution page like ad so 
this is just for internal reference just for you and you alone so you give your page a name or your sorry your campaign a name then you may be tempted to create split testing or to create campaign budget optimization but i would suggest and i recommend you turn these two things off okay okay i think you can either choose one or the other so as it is you can either create a split test testing two different ad or two different ad category or you can use the campaign budget optimization but for the purpose of this for the purpose of this ad why we are why why are we creating this ad so for the purpose of the ad we don't need any of them we don't need the split test neither do we need the campaign budget optimization what we just need is to give the campaign a name and when we give it a name we click on continue so continue brings us to the next page of our ad the next page of creating our ad and that the first is the ad set name so these are the ad set name is just is giving there is so that if there are more than one ad you can give it any name these are also for internal references so i use the same travel visa solution then i can leave it as the ng18 plus or the last ad i did targeted ages of 24 and above so what we need are people with purchasing power so we are not targeting kids this is a serious business so we need to make sure that people we are sending to our page are people that can afford our product and service are people that can afford our consultation service are people that can afford to do business with us so we are excluding ages from zero down to 23. now that we are neglecting these people but we need to target more people with more purchasing power that is why we went straight targeting ages of 24 and above and the next is page choosing your page so when you click on it it shows you your personal page right now i have about three pages on this campaign or on this on my facebook account so the first is my travel visa digest then the travel visa solution is the page we created just now so we've chosen the particular page we want to run this traffic to so the next thing is using is the audience section it said define who you want to see your heart so you can either use a saved audience if you add or to use you create a new audience so we are going to be creating a new audience here yeah. on custom a new custom audience now okay now we will come down to location first you want to target i want to give you a secret here in the location part of things you want to target worldwide worldwide
record. So we need to target worldwide. That is everybody, irrespective of their location. We need to target everybody that is interested in our in our, in our in our business or in our category. So the secret here is you want to create a large variety of audience so that as you your page grows you can now narrow it down to your specific audience or your specific region now you may be tempted to target just the top tier countries the us the canada the uk australia or the new zealand so you might be you might be tempted to target these audience but what but while targeting these people, why are we excluding the rest of the other country? We might say because they don't have the purchasing power. But are you neglecting them that they don't have the purchasing power? Do you know that even those you think don't have the purchasing power, they can still do business with you? If they don't buy on this, they might still buy on this. If, they, if you don't convert them on this, you might convert them on that. So, as we are starting, while while our business grows, we might streamline them to our target to to our, to to maybe to a specific region or a specific spot. But while we are growing, we want to target everybody as possible as as, as everybody as possibly as we can, at least. That are, are that are interested in what we are doing, even though we can reach them or not. That is the beauty of Facebook. Facebook allows us to target these people, to target everybody, irrespective of your location or where you reside or where you come from. So, set your audience to a worldwide location. This will give you the ability to have. People from all regions, both tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four. It allows you, even if there is up to tier ten, you can target everybody that are interested in what you have to offer. That is the beauty of this. So, even though you may argue it, it's the, the, the one truth or one thing is that it works. Then you come to the age. Coming down to the age, I start my advertising from ages 24 and above. I love people with purchasing power. I don't want to target kids or, or, or people or, or minors. I need to target people that are decision makers in that have that have the ability to buy into what I have to offer them. So if I'm selling clothing, if I'm selling, if, if, if I'm in the e-commerce business, if I'm selling, if I have a store selling stuff, selling things, I need people that can buy into what I'm selling. I need people that are mature and advanced enough to take decisions on their own. So that is why I target ages of 24 and above. Then on the gender, you need to leave the gender targeting both male and female. So this initial part is just a way to streamline, it's just a way to get as much people as possible into your business. As time goes on, we can create what is called look-alike audience or custom audience to get the specific people we need into the business. So follow along as we do it this way. To reach out to these people and I'm going to show you my example of what I did and why and how I was able to reach out to get about over a hundred likes in a matter of minutes or in less than 12 hours with lesser money spent now then the coming to language we chose English English both the UK and US so we choose English for all countries. 
So if your business is specific to a specific language, you can choose your language. So if you show your heart to people that only speak those language, but if your business is a general business, you want to choose English, both for everyone, because English is a general language. Everyone reads and understands English. So that's why we choose English. Now, the next step is what we call the detailed targeting. Now, detailed targeting, one tool you can use for that is what we call is our audience insight. Okay, sorry, all tools. We go what we use audience insight. Not much people know about this or the value, tremendous value you can get from this audience insight. So it shows you, it gives you an insight of your audience, their income levels, their whereabouts, their likes, every detail you need about your audience. So we want to start with everyone on Facebook. So the, ne the first is the box. You want to research on your audience. We start with United States ages. Just we want to leave the details like that. And interest. Let's use people that are interested in business and industry aviation industry so as you can see once you have chosen that we have where we need most is on the page like to find out pages they like and related pages they like very good so as you can see now from this research, we've seen that people in this audience love the Delta airline. As an airline, then they have the USCCA, the Patriot United. These, these are papers, committee. These are details of your audience, related pages they love. Go so we come down to Delta Airline. Delta Airline, we check out the affinity score. Affinity score is how likely your audience to like a given page compared to anyone. So if my audience loves pages related to Delta Airline, chances are there are 34 times. 34x, 34, 34 times more likely to like my page. So we come down to uh, targeting. We've seen one targeting. So that is the Delta. Hairline. Good. So we've been able, we are now narrowing before, previous to that, we had about 69 million people, which is too broad, giving us a 6,000 to 35,000 range. But narrowing it down to Delta Airline, we've been able to narrow the 60, 60, something million views to two three million view 23 million view so this is still a much higher view or reach we need to target more we need to reduce these people much more so we chose the next audience which is the uscca uscca Okay, 
So no result was found on that. So what else, what we need to do, or what we can do as an alternative is to click on the suggest button. It will give us different suggestions that we can use for the business, for our, for our targeting. So the first is the United Airlines, American Airlines, Jet Blues, and things like that. Let's choose the United Airlines. We can add more targeting, American Airlines. British Airlines. Just add Okay. So let's go with the Delta Airline. And with that, I want to pages like, page like, include people who like our page. So obviously we need to leave the settings like that. Then we'll go to the placement. The sec next section is the placement section. Now, on the placement, we leave it at automatic bidding, automatic placement, allowing Facebook to do the rest for us. Then the next is the budget. Now, one thing you need, one thing we will need to do, we should need to set our budget as low as three dollars a day so we want to start with a campaign of three dollars per day and what we want to do is it is better to set this campaign in the morning like right now it is 1 a.m my time right here so setting this budget will give facebook enough time to run my campaign before exhausting my three dollars so we want to set the campaign as early earlier in the morning and allow it to run throughout the day so we leave it at three dollar per day then we'll click on continue so clicking on continue the next is to choose our hard format the format is single video or single image or video ad. Then the next step is to choose the image, our media. So right in this section, we can create up to six different ads by using six different images. So what it means is that Facebook gives us the ability to create six different ads by using six different images. And Facebook will show this ad to protect to our prospect, to potential to our potential visitors. Then the ones with the highest like, with the most like, Facebook will promote those pages much more. While than white leaving out the ones with lesser like. So we need to add about six different images, giving Facebook more options for our business. So, clicking on giving Facebook more options or more stuff to work with. What this will allow Facebook? So, Facebook would we are giving we are we are we are kind, we are literally giving Facebook six more ad or six more image to use. To run different ads for this particular for this particular campaign. Oh, 
are imported them again. Okay, it's all right. So we've gotten our ad set one, two, three, ad set four, ad set five, and ad set six. So these are six different parts Facebook can use to optimize and know which one that works better for our audience. So it lets for Facebook to do its work and optimize our page based on the best ad that suited for our business. Now on the text section, we'll use a very simple text. We're going to use a very simple text, which is something like do you do you love traveling? Click like now. So just this basic text if you're if you are in the dog niche, do you love dog? Click like now. Cat niche, do you love cat? Click like now. If you're in your niche, do you love what your niche has? Then you tell them to click like now. So imagine it this way that they are scrolling on their page, scrolling on their page, and instant and 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 interruptically they saw a text, a saw a card that asks them, Do you like this? Click like now. And they can literally and they just scroll down and click boom. Click the like button. So you gain the like. So this is just a simple text you can use. For the ad do you love this click like now do you love that click like now so they will see six different image ads with save six so facebook will share these six different image ads to these people promoting your business and the one with the much likes facebook will promote that much more while reducing the ones with lesser likes so that is just basic. That is just that. This that is the main process. I'm well, just taking you through the main process of what how you create art, and the, mostly, and you click on review, and you click on the green button confirm. It basically confirm your art. So I'm not going to click confirm now because this is basically a tutorial. So, but I've literally showed you how you can do this creating ads cheap. Creating ads cheap on Facebook. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the exact ad I'm running on my business or on my travel blog. So, on my travel blog. I'll, I'll go down to manage ad. So I'm in this section now. I'm going to show you the ad I'm running for my travel blog, my travel page, and how much I've been able to spend in less than four hours of running this ad. Can you see? This is the ad, and it is active real. I've gotten about here yeah, it is still showing 98 results so it does not have reflected the hundreds result hundred ads and I've got but I've gotten this 98 page like for a dollar and 95 cents can you imagine that for a dollar and 95 cents I've been able to get about a hundred people to visit my page and to see my offer, to see my service, to see what I have to do, to see what my business is all about. No more. This is so. With this, who among you cannot spend a dollar and ninety-five cent to get a hundred page like to your business? No more begging friends. No more. No more disturbing your people. 
disturbing your friend list on Facebook to like your page, you can literally get these likes for peanuts, for peanuts, for literally I'll be able to get spend just a dollar and ninety five cents in about six in about twelve hours to grow my page from zero to a hundred. So thereby spending zero point zero two dollar per like per big like. So I'm literally spending two cents, zero of about two cents per like, or it's not zero point zero two dollar per like promoting my page. And when you look at my actual ad, I have the travel visa digest like campaign. This is my budget of three dollar per day, and I'm spending with this three dollar per day. I'm spending. 0 0.02 dollars per like can you see how i'm able to get penny likes per page penny likes promoting my page for pennies and i can get thousands of campaigns of paid likes to promote my page and in each of and from the end from my ad you can see the six different To see my six different hats. So these are the six different hats on my on my ad manager. So this the so these six different hats are showing their six active hats engagement. Add one in engagement at one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six different ads for my page. All of them at three dollar per day for all of them. Not three dollar per day each, but three dollars per day for the six whole ads. And I'm basically and I'm gaining each of these likes for. 0 0.02 dollar per like, two cents per like, peanuts, penny cents per like. So, before I could spend a decent amount of dollar on this hat, I should have, I, 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 I literally would have had thousands and thousands and thousands of likes on my page. So, this is ways how you can grow this ad. And when you now look at my stats, you could see that of all the 96 like or 98 like and my ad one engagement ad one had uh, 36 likes why the next one which is engagement number five has 24 likes and following that we now have engagement number three of which the two engagements two and four have the least like and with the least impression and rich. So I could literally post these two ads that are not producing more results and promote the main ads that are promoting that are giving me more results. So you can see that Facebook is showing more of my ads at one, three, five, and six. Facebook is showing more of this ad because these are the ones that are getting the more responses, more likes, more engagement on my page. So Facebook will show more of this ad one, three, five, and six to my to to to, to my cost to my to my to people it thought to what the system says are the right audience for my business. So Facebook will show this at one four one three five and six to my right audience why i can stop running the ad two and four since i saw the app the least amount of page likes so with these four at getting 36 19 24 and 11 i can see i'm running more ads 
I'm gaining more subscribers with these bites than with the other ones. So, this is my result in the past 12 hours of setting up this campaign. And this has allowed me to gain over 100 likes on my page. So, this brings me to the end of this tutorial. And I hope you love, enjoy it, and you learn in detail step how you can start using Facebook Hack for your business. Facebook is an awesome, is an awesome, a very good platform to grow your business and learn the secret you just learned now. I believe you can go out there, start creating Facebook page now. So go out there, use the knowledge you have learned today to create Facebook page, to run Facebook ad for your business. And even though you can do this as an agency, now you've learned how to run Facebook head. You can run this head for local businesses, helping them promote their business, helping them promote their products, helping them promote their services. You can literally tell them, charge them, um, you can charge them anything, a hundred dollar, a two hundred dollar, or a five hundred dollar per month to help them manage their page and promote their page. And just that you've learned the secret to getting these same likes for pennies. You can turn around and do the same thing I've just done right now. Set up this ad for these businesses. Set up a Facebook page for these businesses. Run ads for these businesses. And you can make money as an agent, as an agency running ads for local business. So Facebook, guys, is a very awesome way to promote your business. And I hope I'll be able to show you in a very in-depth tutorial how you can use Facebook to promote your business. So. If you love this video and you want me to promote, to share, to do more videos like this, one thing I need you to do is click the bell notification button on this video right now. Click the bell notification button to subscribe to this channel. Let me know you love my video. Show the love. Click the heart button. Click the like button. And also, one more thing. Let me know in the comment below. What kind of video you would like me to publish in future? Refer in future, uh, let me know the future videos you would like me to publish on this my YouTube on this platform. Let me know is it videos related to more Facebook ad? Is it videos related to how to make money as a local business? Do you need videos related to making money online? Do you need videos related to creating passive income? Let me just know what you think. And the kind of video you want to see on this channel and it's my joy to provide it to you so guys thank you for watching this video thank you for stopping by on my channel and make sure to click the bell notification button to share to like and to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'm going to see you in future videos thank you go out there create that facebook ad grow your business see you on the other hand, with a very successful business. Peace.